Give me a giddy foul. Give me a giddy foul, okay? Don't, don't mess with me, big flooper. Yamori. I'm, I'm, I'm 60 points down from where I used to be. Give me the guinea fowl, okay? I've done my time in the in the mines. I've earned it, okay? A little big pill bug. What are we doing here, man? Do you think God stays in heaven because he's scared of what he created on earth? I'll be, I mean, that's just a good one. That's just a good one right there. 18 seconds, take your time. No names yet. Il Jacko. That's what they call um, Robert De Niro's grandson in Meet the Fockers in Italy. You have to have seen the movie recently in order to get that. His grandson's name is Jack. He calls him Lil Jacko sometimes. It's, uh, and I think Il is like more of, I mean, I guess it's a French prefix. It's also an Italian prefix. I don't know, I guess they're both romance languages. Listen, it's all about Meet the Fockers here, okay? I'm just trying to, I'm very Meet the Fockers pilled lately, of course. We're going to go a little psychotic. Here we are going to go a little psychotic. Nobody's beaten us with this one, though, let me tell you. Early headshot means we will be at 5 HP at the very least. Now, it does mean we screwed up our chance of getting a guinea fowl on turn three. So, I, me sowing versus me reaping, you know how the quote goes. Me sowing, yes, yes, frick yes, me reaping, what the heck, what? Sorry, I'm just seeing, I'm trying to Jim Carrey myself. How does he get his eyebrows to do that, man? The man has an elastic face. It's just, I mean, I'm not saying he's not talented and like he hasn't worked hard for his uh, success. But also, I mean, it's like a bit of a genetic advantage, right? Like how his eyebrows, man. That's what Jim Carrey is what happens when talent meets hard work. Or something. I don't know. Put some respect on his name. Freeze me. Roll me. You're just not good. Now you could be good in a pinch here. Because we might run into other hedgehogs. Might as well. Might as well. Roll me. Not really that interested in a pug this time. Uh, two spiders might be the sort of thing the doctor ordered in order to uh, make our hedgehog keep popping. We should probably unfreeze the peach, but... Maybe we shouldn't un... I don't know, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Let me look at some names. Danish dust bunnies. Now, if you ever find yourself getting your name reviewed, it's not your fault if it's bad. You only get, you know, three things to choose from for each section. Danish dust bunnies is a two out of five name. Sniffing pants, that's a five out of five name. Flabbergasted Turtles, I'll give you a three and a half. Fragile Knights, I'll give you a two and a half. Running Machines, I'll give you a three and a half for that one as well. What's my criteria? I don't know. Beats me. <laughs> oh, the spider difference. Flabbergasted Turtles, Foamy Tugboats, I'm gonna give it a two and a half. Overexcited, overexcited Scouts, I think that's a, that's a two and a half if I've ever seen one. So the winner of this lobby, Salty Nuts is pretty good, too, I gotta admit. But Sniffing Pants might clear it, but it's not. if it does, it's not by much. I'm rolling. Because the most important... I mean, garlic will be nice, don't get me wrong. The most important thing for us is a guinea fowl. <laughs> Which we've already precluded the ability of ourselves to get, but that's fine. So we'll put garlic on... Well, if we get a guinea fowl, I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over. <laughs> I will say I was complaining on stream today about this weekly having a very stayed meta. And then someone, actually multiple people in chat said, you've got to try uh, running a sniper and hyena build. So maybe if we get the opportunity, if we don't get a guinea fowl, we can start the, well... Hold that thought, brother. Honestly, we don't need hedgehogs anymore. Even though we got the spiders and that would work nicely. We got this. Combine your spiders. Garlic on a guinea fowl. Well, we'll see. Take your level. Oh, sell... Okay, this is crazy. Sell me and sell me. 
That way the orangutan is guaranteed to buff the guinea fowl. Even though we're four squatted, this dude, I mean, the guinea fowl is going to do the best with the stats. We could have moved the otter up to experience the garlic instead, but, I mean, we do want the guinea fowl to have the garlic if possible. Then we could still go snipers and hyenas. Kind of. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Sniffing pants, holding strong. Overexcited scouts. Very tough position, but a, a hedgehog, a hedgehog is no joke, man. And we're sitting, we're sitting up in the top half. I'll be honest with you, I think I beat this team. And that's about all I'm comfortable with saying right now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my team isn't as good as I thought it was. But having a guinea fowl is very helpful. And a level 2 spider. I mean, I can't wait till it spits out like a 4-4 four -four that does nothing. Il Jacko! Hang on. I'm, I'm popping. I mean, I, I gotta feel pretty strongly that a, a 16 16 dog popping out of this is gonna help us if it's necessary, which it isn't. Okay. I have become the evil. You gotta save lemurs if you see them. Holy brother! Um, I'd really rather not like lower your stats, honestly. You're about to. I want the level next turn, because if we get a moose, it's off to the races. We know we're selling an otter or a spider soon, so why don't we... We'll just... We'll, basically, uh, it, putting the rice on the otter is like a... Uh, it's a bad avocado. Hang on, I have to respond to this message. I was... I am presently recording a sap video but I was not subtweeting you, Kinana. I was making a callback. You have the right to ride your piton at the cadence you desire. And Thomas Jefferson died for the right for me to speak freely about it. Listen, this is, it, it's inside baseball, okay? We're talking about the Peloton a little bit here. Somebody in the egg carton um, that shall remain nameless. Oh, by the way, I'll take my dub. Um, they, they went up against me on a ride and they beat me. There's no doubt about that. Now, maybe I called the legitimacy of that into question because when I checked their profile they were riding at 50 cadence and like 80 resistance for the whole ride even though in the peloton you gotta well the way that the instructors call it out is like you're gonna do 80 to 100 for this then you're gonna do 60 to 80 for this then you're gonna do 60 to 70 for this then you're gonna do 80 to 90 for this so like listen you're entitled to ride it however you choose okay i'm just saying i mean i'm just saying that's all i'm doing all i'm doing is saying we're not going hyena this time I think you're both gone. And we're gonna try something a little crazy moded. I want you to have a chili pepper. Skunk is also kind of sick with it. <laughs> I know the guinea fowl, like here's the thing, I appreciate what the guinea fowl has done for us up to this point, but it has not gotten where it needs to get. It's turn seven. I'm not gonna say it's washed, but you know, we gotta, we got to start thinking about our, our late game because the guinea fowl didn't get to like 20 HP permanent garlic via just endless uh, lemurs, etc., etc. So we got to start thinking about where we go from there. Now this clone is going to own me. I mean, that's just uh, it's an embarrassing way to go. I'm still pretty happy with our overall team. I am. Call me crazy if you want. I'm very happy for this still. Maybe maybe you need a peach. It's a bit of a spicy buy of this late in the game. By the way, I know you're going to say, what about the frigate bird? He's different. A friend gained ailment. Re remove ailment works one time per turn. What am, I, what am I supposed to do with that, brother? What am I supposed to do with that? You need a chili pepper. Next turn is chili pepper turn. Anyway, you, you can... It's, good. it's completely acceptable for you to ride the peloton however you want to ride the peloton, okay? I'm just saying, 
if we're doing a race, I would expect you to stay within the bounds of the course. But that's fine. I'm not going to say, by, sometimes they're saying, hey, it's your recovery time. 60 to 70 cadence, 40 to 45 resistance. And I'm like, brother, I got Midwestern emo, male 20s from Chicago with a duck avatar. He's 15 kilojoules behind me. I can't afford to recover here. I'll hit your 60 to 70, but I'm doing 60 out of the saddle, okay? Because I got to keep my wattage up. But if Ben Aldis says we're doing a push to 100 to 120 cadence, I'm just letting you know you wouldn't catch me at 50, okay? Because that's, I'm not willing to debase myself to that level, but everybody's different, okay? Okay, I no longer feel confident at all. They, they made frigate bird work, so clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. Please. Sabretooth goes crazy. It's also going to receive a buff. It also needs a pita. I should have bought a lemur too, but it's maybe it's a little too little too late here. How about a chili? Oh, chili pee. They do be chili in me. So this will do 10 damage to the second enemy, which is pretty solid. If I'm being real with you, don't buff yourself. Oh, you're gonna buff me. Oh, no, 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 okay, thank God. If I'm being real with you, you might not be long for this world. I don't know what I'm gonna put in your stead, but... Okay. Remember, I'm, I don't have to come in first. I would be more than happy to just make it to the top half. It would be awesome to have a chance to eliminate you before you could really get that moose going. Sorry to say it, but you know, if I, if I was you, you would be saying the same thing about me that I'd be saying about you right now, okay? Come on. Come on, hit me. I want you to hit me. Why am I doing my Adam Sandler voice as the Joker? Sad little Adam, sad little Adam, <laughs> Adam Badler as we call him, sad little Adam in his little movies, his little, his court jester, his appearance as the court jester, his six, his disastrous six movie deal with Netflix, we hate them, don't we folks, the ridiculous six, the cobbler, Hubie Halloween, don't you don't kid yourself. You're no bed midler. You're not making the modern hocus pocus, are you? No, you're not. Hang on. We're so back. We beat a squad that had four wins. Maybe the guinea fowl is keeping us there. Maybe it's keeping us there. You're going to give yourself a little buff this turn. That means, to be honest with you, you're gone. We're going to get a buff on one of these other laddies next turn. Now I'll go. I'll be. I'll keep it a hundred. I'll keep it a buck fifty with you. Sabretooth hitting tier two probably means more than Guinea Fowl hitting tier three, in my opinion. And also, if we could just get a Pita on you, an Emu also can go kind of crazy. We're so close to the top half. I just beat you. Can I beat your team? It would be a tough one. Um, big Flupa. Have we lost the Sniffing Pants? We have not lost the Sniffing Pants. Can I beat you? That also strikes me as a tough... You've got a very unique team here. Big Flea, Big Cockroach, and a Frigate Bird. It's a very interesting... Oh no, it's Big Flupa, man. It's a very interesting way to, to live your life. I'm not rinsed yet. I'm not rinsed yet. I'm freaking rinsed, but just barely. I'm t that's why the level two saber tooth is so important. And the pita. What are we doing here? Moose. I mean, moose is pretty important, man. But you sell? Okay, I think you sell. This is crazy. Moose me, blobfish me. And then you at least you're getting 6 HP total. Don't go to the blobfish, please. I can't be mad about this. And look, I'm, I'm coming 4th or 5th. It depends who we go up against. Please don't put me up against Yomori. They seem like they're crazy, okay? I, they seem like they got the, the, the most insane team I've ever seen in my entire life. Can you put me up against... I think we might have a chance against Dead1706. But they're not on one HP. Are we beating Sam 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 69? Seems like a stretch to be honest with you. <laughs> I 
I don't know. It's in God's hands now. Now, I do, I'm do. i a little disappointed in myself because we did get a guinea fowl this time. I'm just saying this is not the perfect setup, okay? We didn't get the guinea fowl on turn uh, three, but that is my own fault, admittedly. Okay, we're going, we're going sick nasty mode. Young nasty man. It's the most insane battle I've ever seen in my life. And we made it! <laughs> oh, wow! Freeze me some tier ones. I think a pita on you obviously goes crazy now too. I do want to pill you. We can't, oh, we, we could, we could pill you. And then put another unit out there. I think you probably would be looking I mean, Gorilla, sure, but I think maybe Tiger Guinea Fowl has the best overall upside. Okay, we made it to the top four. I think we can pride ourselves on that. I'm just saying this was not the dream Guinea Fowl run. It's still good. In fact, it's, I would say it's great. I'm just saying this is not the one that I'm hanging my hat on as if like I've been complaining about the Guinea Fowl, then we finally got the perfect line. The perfect line is you get guinea fowl lemur on turn three, and then you make the whole universe beg for mercy, okay? I think we did a pretty good job, though. There's only one other guinea fowl out here, too. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about in the meta this week. Somebody's got to stop Big Floopa, man. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be up against your Mori, aren't I? They got rid of their frigate bird. What do they got going? They still got an orangutan as of last round. Just live, at this point, we're just surviving round to round, okay? What's the next big get? Probably level level two, panther, level three, guinea fowl makes the most sense. Okay, it's Yamori, I'm scared. Justifiably so, I might add. Okay, I'm, I get it now. I get it now. We're gonna win this round, holy cow. But the flea plus all the chili peppers, that's a little genius strategy there. You're cooking with that one. Probably it's you. We probably have to buy this, which means we're just rolling for tier ones. Ooh, thank you so much. Now, you don't freeze the chocolate because it doesn't freeze anyway. Now, if we could just outlast one more individual. Please, I know that we're probably going to be up against Big Flupa, but could you put me up against Dead 1706 because we're both on lethal? Like, this is to see who makes it out of loser's bracket, okay? Nobody's adopted the hyena yet. I got a level 2 Sabertooth back on myself. 12, 18 Sabertooth, 10, 16 Sabertooth. Come on, come on. You scared? You scared, Devin? De Devin? Dead seventeen oh six. Don't you hate it when you're gonna name your kid Dead seventeen oh six, and then you call him Devin by accident, and he's like Devin. Who do you think I am? The lead singer of the Dillinger Escape Plan? What is Devin Townsend? What does he do? Hey Google, I'm just messing with you. Hey, Google, buy uh, one ounce of gold. Big flooper. You knew it had to happen. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, though. I'm pogging. I'm, I'm pogged up. I'm in the top three, baby, and I beat the top two. Now, I'm not saying we got it. All I'm saying is we're doing way better than I thought we were. I thought we would. Tier 1s get frozen. I'm not buying stew this phase of my existence. I will absolutely purchase a pita. I don't think it really works that well on either of you, honestly. Will it give me an orange? I have this pita on you. Is it going to give you 30 HP when you get hit? That isn't, I'd rather have you chunking them down. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to put it on the tiger just to have a little extra je ne sais quoi, I suppose. Now, you got a little tomato out here. Otherwise, I don't expect these teams to change too much. Yomori's team honestly scares me. Because I think this PETA, the, the third unit PETA here, won't matter at all because of the way that the tick works. But the way that they got their team set up is kind of a little bit genius. 
in my personal opinion and estimation. Wait a minute, we're still freaking rolling here. Holy cow. Big Flupa survived against the clone. Things you hate to see. Very nice. Oh, what I wouldn't give. <laughs> I'm not selling a unit to get the chocolate. We'll have we'll just be patient on that, but the saber tooth leveling, I do think it matters. The moose, I mean, it would be nice, but we're we're kind of we've been on super lethal for a hundred years. So we're just hanging as long as we can. You are now doing 15 damage to the unit behind. Pretty good. Pretty good. The question is, can any of the squads pivot fast enough to, to stop the bleeding? Is there any equipment that will, that will do it for them? Yep. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. But maybe not, bro. Maybe not. We're so back. Big Flupa beat Yamori too. I think we need to buy health then. Because we need to be able to survive. That's fine. We need to be able to survive the, the porcupine. Without losing the pita. Can I get some tier ones please? Bro, I'm getting and. and? Are you serious? Who we got? Who we got here? It's Yamori once Yamori. Okay, my Peters. I'll have you know we're chilling. Oh, we're chilling. This has been the best performance so far. Also the performance where I got a guinea fowl. Who would have thought? <laughs> now, how the heck do I beat... I mean, we're already doing great, but how do we how do we take out this porcupine, man? So every time it get hit, it gets hit, it's gonna deal 18 damage back to the lad who hit him. I think you just gotta run this bad boy instead. Then you'll live through the first attack, and you'll get a bunch of hurt triggers. Your pita may never work, but that's the cost of doing business. Oh, work with me? Oh, they worked with me. <laughs> yes, they did. Oh! <laughs> I'm not saying we got it, but that was a great shot for us. Oh, they've, they've reorganized the squad, brother. This doesn't seem great. Or does it seem completely fine? It's completely fine. Holy. Now I'm just gonna say it, okay? You may still beat me. It could happen. We should roll for tier ones. It's worth more than a fortune cookie. If you beat me, it's fair play as far as I'm concerned, okay? I'm running back the same squad because I actually, you already had the counter pick. You run the hedgehog up at the front. I think I like that setup a little bit better. If you beat me, it's fair play. Oh, they, no, they got the level three skunk me. <laughs> but hang on. We're, we're, oh, did we super pogged? I think we can't lose. I'm so proud of myself. It turns out I'm the best of all time. All I needed was a guinea fowl. Who knew? <laughs> 10 points? Are you, are you kidding me, man? Anyway, that was a great run. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did. It's the greatest love story since Twilight, and I'll see you next time. See ya!